Hey guys, Ben here coming to you again from Ben's Audio Cave. Hey, I got a good one for you today. You can see I got my headset on. You know why I do? Because we are going to get nerdy up in here today. Yes, sir. We are going to roll up our sleeves. Well, I don't really have sleeves, but <laughs> we're going to go into the uh, vinyl cleaning station in here and we are going to clean some records and observe them at the microscopic level yeah you heard it uh, we're going to take the usb microscope we're going to take some video and then we're going to kind of look at what's happening at the microscopic level so i'm just going to go ahead and skip it and then we are going to jump right in and roll over to the cleaning station and go clean some records. Hey guys, so now I'm here at the cleaning station. Now what I'm going to do, I want to show you kind of what I've got set up here. And I'll and uh, this is pretty exciting. So just a second here, let me flip this around. Now then, this is what we've got. We've got a USB microscope, and I've already got it focused and everything. I've got a dirty as all heck and beaten up, good for the microscope, uh, Hank Williams Sr., a tribute to Hank Williams record here that I didn't much care about. I've got my Audio Technica brush, my paint pads, you can see that one's already getting dirty, uh, my Groove Glide and Distilled my vinyl vax and of course i've got all this hooked up into my uh, macbook pro over here now this is the record for today and again there's that setup so are you guys ready are you ready to get nerdy because we're getting ready to get nerdy i'm going to take us right into the usb microscope now and talk and show you guys what's going on at a microscopic level on this record. Okay, guys, so here we are. And this is the view from the microscope that I just showed you guys that I had set up. So let's look. This is me moving the platter ever so slightly. Look at there. That's the grooves of the records. And you can see these are actually quite damaged. Ooh, there's a big gouge. It goes all the way across. We can kind of probably use that for reference point. But these are, can't really see, you can see some of the filth in there and whatnot. But I just want to give, give you guys, and I'm moving this very slowly, giving you guys kind of a some points of reference. There it is, moving pretty quickly. You can kind of see them go around here. So there it is with the moving. So I'm going to put this record kind of at top dead center. And look at there. So now, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to apply, because you guys have seen me do this, you guys know how to do it. I'm going to apply some Tergiclean in here. So here we go, putting my vinyl wetting solution in here. And now look, at a microscopic level, we can kind of see the fluid here. But you see, it's already starting to kind of soak into those grooves right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a paint pad and right now what i'm doing is i'm actually cleaning the record with the paint pad and i know it's it's uh you guys are just seeing a bunch of light and stuff but that's okay because this is really what's happening real time at a microscopic level i'm not trying to hide anything from you guys all right, so now I think we're about clean. But look, look at there. You know what that is? That's actually the fluid after I've rubbed it into the grooves floating on the top. Those are air bubbles that were created by our scrub brush. That's filth. That's dirt. That is what I dug out of the grooves with the pad 
floating on the surface. If you see, it kind of looks milky. You know what that means? That means our grooves are completely soaked. Look at that filth. Ugh. Now, keep in mind, this is like a 1964 record that I don't know how many times it's been cleaned, but I've never cleaned it. So watch. Look, I'm not moving anything. Look at those things float. So now, let's... um. Let's hit this up with the vinyl vac real quick and then see what it looks like. So, so I'm vacuuming it off right now. You probably hear that vac going in the background. And you'll start to see, oh, there's some drops of water. Oh, there's our grooves again. So let me go ahead and get finished with this. I want to make sure I get it real good and dry if you guys can see what happens when it's not dry right you've got those micro drops sitting on here this is so neat okay we're about there and take it off and we're there now let's look this was the same view we had before you can see now no more water no more detergent. There's a better... Whoa, you can really see some of that damage now. There's a good cross-section of the damage. But you can really see these grooves. So, isn't that neat? Now, if we do this right here, that's what our stylus sees. But if we do it kind of slower, you see the bumps and everything. Whoa, there's that. But look, it doesn't look quite as bad as it did. So. Now, you've, you've probably always wondered, hey, what happens when, why did people say, use this, use that, use a surfacant or whatever? I'm going to spray, uh, I'm spinning the record, and I'm spraying on here our distilled rinse with a uh, groove glide in it. So look, you can see it sitting on top of the surface. It's not going in there like the charger clean did. It's just kind of sitting there. See those drops? It's kind of sitting there, right? So now, let me hit it with a brush. Now, you would think, hey, I got a brush that penetrates deep into the grooves. It's going to be able to fix all this, right? Not really. So now we've got, we've forced some water into the grooves, but you can see it's kind of, it's sitting on top, still kind of hanging out. It's not really completely going in there. It's not like the Turgid Clean was where it was like a solid milky thing. We can still see the top of the grooves. It's, we forced a little bit of it into the grooves, but not a terrible amount. It's not adhered like that. But, you know, this is a clean album. All we're trying to do is rinse it. So now let's hit it with the back. Okay. And there we are. Back to the grooves. Look how clean that looks. Let's go back to our top dead center position here. Okay, so these are the same grooves we've been looking at with the damage and everything. You can really see. And look, there is one little water droplet that was stray. So that's how they say to like vacuum things off and then let it dry for just a second, just to make sure all these little stray droplets are there. But I can't tell really whether that's damaged or whatever. But this is a. Uh, these are what record grooves look like under a microscope, but it also it shows you what it looks like to clean them and some of the damage. All right. All right, so just to demonstrate, there is our cleaned record. You can see all that damage on there. That's what we were looking at underneath this microscope. It's not really that far away. I mean, this is supposed to be a thousand power microscope, but it's not really that powerful. But yes, that if you look at one of those little dots of light there, that's what it was focused on. That's what we were looking at.
But yeah, we back back up and you can see there's our record brush we use to rinse, our cleaning record brush, our Targetol, and our rinse. So what would you think? Were they dirtier than you thought? Is that your first time you've seen uh, record grooves under a microscope? Wasn't mine. Uh, we've all seen it on the internet. But I thought it might be, you know, interesting to show you guys on, online, show you guys live. So, this is what I hope you could see. Yes, there is a reason why, whether it foams or not, that we use record clean fluid with surfacant in it because it penetrates in there and you've seen it kind of float that dirt up onto the surface. You, one thing I think you also should have seen is, hey, the diluted uh, uh, groove glide really doesn't leave any residue in there either. And now our record, even though it is a little bit damaged, is super clean. So would ultrasonic bring it a little bit more out? Hmm, don't know. Can uh, look at that later. But the idea is one of these little USB microscopes, I think that guy was like 40 bucks, super modest investment for uh, being able to capture this. If you found this video helpful, make sure and give me a thumbs up. If you like the content you're seeing, make sure and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, I'll see you from Ben's Audio Cave.